at long last Hogan has spoken out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of the General Jerry channel. Hulk Hogan had an interview with Good Morning America. He went into details as uh, what the hell is going on with him. Um, and he said a lot of things that, um, to me, kind of a PR stunt, but um, I'll be getting into my opinion later on. Uh, guys, let's get into it. Let's not waste any time. Uh, by the way, if you want to see the interview, link is in the description below. It is five minutes long, so I'll send you that if you guys want to check that out. Um, last month, Hulk Hogan was literally erased from the WWE archives overnight after the release of a recorded conversation that was revealed using racist slurs while discussing his daughter's relationship with a black billionaire. And just like that, a career that spanned it over 40 years and had a legacy as one of the most beloved wrestlers of all time was gone. Now Hogan is attempting to rebuild his reputation, kicking off um, with uh, an interview with ABC News. Since being fired from WWE, Hogan uh, was has laid low outside of a cryptic tweet and personal statement. Monday marked the first time he addressed the incident um, in a public platform during an interview aired on Good Morning America. A teary-eyed Hogan begged for, begged for forgiveness and said, "Not only um, has this been the lowest point in his life, he also can, um, he was also com contemplating suicide." Um, and I quote, this is exactly what he said. Um, oh my gosh, please forgive me, please forgive me, I'm a nice guy, he said. I think if you look at the whole picture of who Hulk Hogan is, you can see over the years that there's uh, there's not a racist bone in my body, that is what he said. Despite the I am racist to a point, F and N words, and an audio obtained by the National Enquirer, Hogan insisted he is not racist. However, he says he was angry at his daughter when the conversation was recorded and blamed his remarks on an upbringing in the streets of Port Tampa, Florida. <sighs> I disagree with that, you know, um, because it doesn't matter where you grow up. Um, I grew up in Belfast where you're supposed to to hate all sections or you're supposed to hate like you know the other side of the community I never did um I was accepting with everyone so to kind of blame it on your upbringing um I, I that doesn't make sense to me um to be honest with you but I'll continue it was a really tough night a tough neighborhood a uh, really low income and my friends greeted each other saying that word he said the word was just thrown around like it was nothing um uh, he said i would say that was very fair hogan responded when asked if he uh in admitted a racist bias the involvement i grew the environment i grew up in was all white friends all my black friends you hear the word on a daily basis when they greet me in the morning, that's what they say to me. Good morning, so and so. I think that was a part of the culture and environment I grew up in. Uh, Hogan will soon find out um, if time truly heals all wounds. You know, for the sake of his presidential campaign. Oh, fuck. Um, this is the thing with Hulk Hogan. Um... Like I said, it's been a month now since he's been erased. I want to make this perfectly clear. Hulk Hogan is completely wiped from history. He is removed from the Hall of Fame. Um, his footage is not advertised on the WWE Network. He was removed on Tough Enough. Um, he, he essentially got the Chris Benoit treatment. Um, uh, Chris Benoit treatment meaning completely erased. Gone. Finito. Gone. Um, this is the thing I want to say. Um, I don't like the guy what he's done um in the past because of the shit that happened with TNA because of the shit that he did with um obviously the racist language burying a lot of people Hogan to me is a fucking idiot at times and um he he at a time you know um Hulk Hogan whether people like it or not he is whenever you say professional wrestling people say Hulk Hogan, um, he could have given all us wrestling fans a bad name, and what I mean by that is, and it might be a bit of a stretch of of, of exaggeration, but he, he could have essentially destroyed the wrestling business, because now people look at him and say, oh yeah, this is what wrestling's like, to those people that aren't 
real wrestling fans like me or you that's watching this video. I think Hogan, to me, I think he should have done this interview a few, a, like literally as soon as it happened and opened up. Um, now, it's been a month. He's done the interview. He said he's going to be working towards racial stereotypes. He's going to be working to do this, to do that. To me, Hogan um, is the type of guy where he'll do anything to be in WWE's good books. Do I think he will be back in WWE? 50-50. I don't. Personally, for me, WWE needs to stay away from it. Now, over time, could WWE forgive him? I don't know. Um, he wants to... The reason why Hogan was in WWE is because he wanted a match with John Cena to have one final match. Okay, As of now, Hulk Hogan's last professional match was against Sting in TNA. Hogan wants to end on a good note. I don't think that's going to happen. Because, like I said, with time going through... Hogan gets older. Um, even if WWE forgives him, he'll be old as shit. And, you know, the older he gets, the less likely he'll have a match. Um, and I'm, Hogan probably doesn't want a last match in TNA. Uh, which, you know, like I said, you know, him against Sting, it's not it's not a bad way to go out. But he, he wants to face John Cena. Um, and that's really what he's looking for. Um, but like I said, I... I don't like Hogan for what he did. Um, and he could have give wrestling fans a bad name. Should we all move on from it? Um, I think we should all learn from it. Because anything you say. Whether it will be on the internet. Whether it will be on Facebook. Twitter. Can be used against you. In this age now. In the 21st century. In this age now. In this, this age of technology. Um, we have to be very careful on what we say. And what we do. Um, and Hogan, he learned it the hard way, um, and it won't be, it won't be the first time, and it won't be the last time that we probably see anything like this, um, but ladies and gentlemen, that's all I really gotta say about it, the Hulk Hogan thing, it is worth a watch, um, I will post a link in the description below, ladies and gentlemen, I will be covering, uh, WWE Raw, uh, tonight, I'll be doing full live coverage, then the full review will be on tomorrow, but any matches I'll be covering here on the General Jerry channel. Um, and yes, uh, I hope you enjoy the coverage. Also guys, if you are new to my channel, I cover all aspects of WWE, TNA, professional wrestling. I do reactions and I also do comedy sketches as well. Check out the Christian Beale vs. General Jerry TMZ spoof. But ladies and gentlemen, um, this is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel, signing out.